Hey, shalom, my king. First and foremost, and give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rachach, Kudash. Double honors unto the elders of Apostles of the Great Millstone. The elders of the Great Millstone in her course. Peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect. The sincere sermons of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Serve him in truth and sincerity. Yes, so we're coming back with, a, with another lesson to spear and then by the Chayaba from my GMS Playing Tables Camp. And yeah, just so I want to get into this video. The, the brother shared uh, in the group chat and hey this is uh your pa video right here without further ado we're gonna play it Hey, and there you have it, man. And hey, the world will look at these objects you see in the sky to be, or they will deem them to be uh, UFOs or UAPs or whatever you want to call it, unidentified objects, um, un unidentified flying object or unidentified aerial phen uh, phenomenon. That's, I mean, what well, that's what the government, that's the term that they put on it. And really, hey, the government, the elites, they understand what these vehicles are, but they want to make it kind of uh, doubtful onto the world what they are because they don't want, really, they don't want anybody to know that there's an extra uh, extraterrestrial force that's above them that they have no, I mean, literally no power over. They, I mean, they, they, they try their best to just shoot these down. They try their best to, to catch one and they failed every single time. One account where they sent two fighter jets after uh, one of these vehicles and the two fighter jets never returned. <laughs> and you might be wondering what these are. Well, let's go ahead and get it with uh, according to the scriptures. So this is Ezekiel chapter one and four. It says, and I looked and behold, the whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud. And a fire unfolding itself, and a brightness was about it, and out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance, they had the likeness of a man. Yes, yeah, so this whirlwind, this great cloud, a fire unfolding itself, a brightness was about it. I mean, I mean that pretty much gives you the same description of, of this video I just played. This brightness about this it's shaped like a cloud. I mean, obviously, it just has that shape. And this right here is one of the chariots of the Lord. This is this right here is a heavenly vehicle that the angels pilot. You know, it's, it's no it's no wonder why it's able to literally go zero to who knows how fast. I mean, and just instantly. There's no aircraft in the world that can do that. You know, there, there's no man-made aircraft in the world that that can uh, achieve or you know achieve this type of acceleration and speed. It's impossible. And as well as going, you know, for for it to be that silent. I mean, you didn't even hear it, and it went that fast. That goes to show you that, hey, that right there is a heavenly vehicle. That's some extraterrestrial vehicle, which, again, those are the chariots of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, who the world that ignorantly calls God and Jesus. The only father's name is Yahweh, according to the ancient Paleo Hebrew, and the son's name is Yahushai, according to the ancient Paleo Hebrew. So this is, skip it down to verse 15. It says, now as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a barrel. And they had one likeness and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. So, yeah, those wheels are, again, referring to the same objects. I mean, when you look at a so-called UFO, it has the, the circular or the shape of a circle, obviously, you know, it's it's round. And boy, it looks like 
on the outer frame of it, you know, well, you'll see how, again, it has just, just the outer part of it. And then within it, you'll see how it's uh, kind of like um, a smaller circle, which is exactly what Ezekiel chapter 1 and 16 is describing. It says in verse 17, when they went, they went upon their four sides and they turned now when they went, meaning that they're, they're very agile. They don't have to turn. They're not subject onto the laws of physics. As soon as they want to go, the chariots was, again, the angels are piloting the, the chariots. As soon as they command them to go this way, you know, they could be flying one direction, boom, they, they go the opposite direction or, you know, left or right in an instant. They don't have to turn, you know, just like any modern day, I mean, really any aircraft today, what, you know, they don't have to use the, you know, uh, whatever they call it, the, the thing to turn it. And then what well, you have to wait for the 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 um aircraft to, to change directions. The chariots aren't subject unto the laws of physics like men or like, like the aircrafts in the world today. <clears throat> verse twenty. Skimming on verse 20 says, Whithsoever the spirit was to go, they went, thither was the spirit to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against him, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. Yes, yeah, so they have these are the uh, vehicles of the angels. So, no, these are not aliens from Mars. From, from Mars. The, the, this isn't government technology. No government technology could achieve something like this that this is impossible right here for any man to create something like this this right here is something from the heavens this is something extraterrestrial nothing i mean what you had that one i believe military something must have been in general or i'm not completely sure but he even came out and said on the news how what the the so-called ufos they're advanced a thousand years I mean, is there a thousand years more advanced than the current military, you know, right now? Which, hey, that that's even, you know, that's Esau putting a number on it. Really, you can't achieve anything like this. It's, it, you know, these chariots are infinite amount or um, an, an infinite amount of years more advanced than what Esau could, could ever achieve. Because, again, Esau is subject to the flesh. And Esau doesn't have the uh this you know the, the spiritual power this right here is uh spiritual power right here you know something hey again this is the this isn't carnality esau is subject unto carnality he, he you know esau is subject onto um air resistance just uh weight gravity I mean, that's why well, fighters just even though they go pretty fast, right? I mean, compared to, I mean, uh, the rest of, what, of what, what's on this earth, you know, that man has built. Yeah, I mean, fighter jets, they're one of the fastest objects in the realms of this world. But I mean, what? Think about it. They they make a lot of noise. You know, when when they br break this uh, the sound barrier, again, they're the super loud. I mean, when they turn, even though, again, they're... They're agile compared to the rest of the man-made aircrafts. You know, they, they're able to turn fast. I mean, they, they still have to turn. And, and it takes time for them to turn. But these chariots, as soon as they want to turn, boom, that's it. As soon as they want to go zero to however fast they want to go, boom, they go. A fighter jet, they, what, they have to launch. You have to wait a little bit for the afterburners to kick in or whatever. And then they go super fast. Well, these chariots, they're not subject onto that. <clears throat> yeah and keep in mind it said what the and out of the midst thereof as a color of amber when you get the color of amber i mean this is how it looks kind of like a goldish golden color which uh the video has th the same color right there kind of like an amber gold color and, you know, again, um, a brightness about it. And, yeah, the chariots have the ability to, to control their um, 
you know, how, how bright they look. Sometimes they'll look dark, you know, they, they can turn off the light. And no, it's not no flip of a switch, you know, they they, they set up light or light bulbs on the outside of the cherry. No, they just have um a glow about them that the angels can, can control. You can't explain it. <clears throat> Getting Isaiah chapter 66 at 15, it says, For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his, his anger a fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yeah, so the Lord's Yahweh Bashim Shai. The Heavenly Father Yahweh is going to send back his son Yahweh Shai. Uh, with his chariots. First, Yahweh Shai is going to come back in his great uh, great chariot. The scriptures speak about how the Son of Man will return um, in a great cloud. Meaning that he's going to come back in a, in a massive chariot. And you can get more of that. Within the second Ezra chapter 13, it says how Ezra is beheld as if it was, it was a mountain, you know, coming out of the earth. And he was looking around to see if a mountain was taken out of the earth because how big Yahushua's chariot was. It said how he couldn't see the, the ends of it. <clears throat> so it says, for behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render, to render his fury or slack to render his anger with fury. And his rebuke with flames of fire. Yes, the Lord is coming back with fire, and it's not going to be no pretty sight. Now, nah, I mean, hey, the Lord's going to come back in his glory, and Yahweh Shai is going to come back. Hey, again, you know, a lot of people will be afraid. I mean, everybody's going to be afraid, man. The scriptures say how today the Lord's going to be darkness, and I got a. A picture right here, you know, this is AI art, but this right here gives you a, a depiction about how the chariots will come. No, they're not going to come back looking, you know, like a lot of people. Oh, look at, you know, just look at these great vehicles in the sky, you know, these beautiful vehicles in the sky. Now nah, they're going to come back looking something like this, man, you know, with a, hey, as we just read, the Lord's going to come back. With his, and it says, and with the chariots like Rowan to render his fury. Or says, it says, for the, for behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire. And the Lord's going to come with fire, man. And what well, you can get more of that in 2nd Ezra chapter 13, how it says, the chariots or the Lord Yahweh Shai will be commanding the chariots to shoot tempest uh, mixed with fire. Or what? Tempest uh, mixed with the flaming breath. And uh, yeah, you can get more of that. So imagine tempest, lightning mixed with fire, the flaming breath. I mean, hey, obviously you'll you get, you'll get a high power weapon, and that's what these chariots have the ability to shoot. So they're going to be shooting that, uh, emitting that energy upon Babylon Great, which is America, and upon any anybody who who's going to catch that judgment. The scriptures say how those who got hit by by, by these energy. I mean, go. You can go ahead and get that in Second Ezra chapter thirteen. I mean, what it says how the military, the armies of this world, will, will, will try to fight against these chariots. It said how once those energy, you know, the tempest mixed with uh, flaming breath and fire. Once those energy uh, beams hit them, they completely got vaporized, and literally you can get that in Second Ezra chapter thirteen. But yeah, these how. You know, th this right here gives us uh, a, a depiction of how the chariots will, will return, a fire, and Yahweh shall send back. Again, they're not going to come back. You know, it's not going to be a, a bright, nice day, you know, sunny day, good, uh, nice weather. And, you know, the chariots are going to be, hey, nah, man. They're, this is how they're going to about to come back, like, in a day of darkness, in a day of destruction. As we know, we'll, once Yahweh Shai comes back, World War Three will uh, will be popping off. The other nations, the other countries, will be shooting their nuclear uh, missiles upon America, and the chariots will be sent to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. As well, they'll be also aiding in the destruction of America by again shooting those those energy weapons. 
you know, the, those are energy beams uh, mentioned in Second Ezra chapter 13. So this is Zechariah chapter 5 and 1. It says, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. So, I mean, imagine what a flying roll is. Again, yeah, something that, that's circular and it, it, it's a circular object and it's able to fly. What is that speaking about? It says, verse, verse 2, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Then he said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the earth, the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut up, shall be cut off as on that side according to it. Yeah, so this is the curse, so that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. So <clears throat> right now, currently, you know, people are, are seeing these so-called UFOs and the Lord's commanding them. Really, the, the Lord hasn't unleashed uh his judgments yet. Mean or you know, the 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 pretty much for for, for the, the chariots to, to let loose. You know, they're they're still just kind of I mean, really, it's for the elect, so so that the elect can see it. When the, the people of the world see it, you know, they, they they marvel. They have no idea what it is. They think that's a cool sight to see, you know, almost like they'll be grabbing popcorn to, to watch. Nah, man. Once these chariots come back, people will be afraid, and what the, the, they're going to be causing destruction. It says, this is a curse that goeth forth over the face of the horror earth. Yeah, because Esau won't. Esau, even the so-called white man, he, he, he's not going to be able to do anything once these chariots return. He hasn't shot down, I mean, well, ever since the so-called first sightings well, of these so-called UFOs, they haven't been able, uh, been able to, to get one. Yeah, they, they lie and they stay on the news as if they have got one, but, but that, that's completely false. They haven't been able to, to, to take down one, shoot one down, or, or to capture one. That's why it's a curse under them. And once it comes back, I mean, once Yahusha comes back with his chariots, they're not going to be able to do anything against it. No military technology, no uh, weaponry or anything that they have is going to be enough to stop these chariots. So that's why it's a curse over the face of the whole earth. But it's not a curse for the elect because these chariots will be delivering the elect or yeah, uh, Yahusha will be sending the chariots to beam up the elect because yeah, the the chariots have a tractor beam, meaning that they're able to beam up. Um, they're they they're able to send down obviously what the the energy field, and you, you're able to get beamed up. You know they don't get what in, within these movies they 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 show you the tractor beam. You know they don't get that from nowhere. So to end it off, <clears throat> this is our Revelation chapter 11 and 12. <clears throat> it says, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they sent it up uh, to, a, to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. So this is the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect Israelites being beamed up so-called negroes native americans latinos as well as the scattered amongst these are these other nations having the appearance of these other nations this right here is speaking about the elect israelites being beamed up and and uh saved from the destruction so come up hither meaning that they're they're being beamed up that's going to be outside commanded the chariots to uh again to beam up his elect it says, and the enemy enemies beheld them, because our enemies aren't, aren't going to be uh, getting beamed up. Only th this is the gift and reward unto the elect, because the elect will be pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and, and doing his will, which us brothers we hope to be a part of. Yes, yeah, so I believe that's the point to play the video once again.
Yahweh Shemiel Shai, Bashem Kakura Shabbat Shalom.